Hey, Royals fans, Eric Jessberger here with the Lions Roar. This afternoon, your Royals get set to take on the 12 Riviera Lions for a second trade game right here at Santander Arena. Heading in to Santander, make sure to pick up your free puck in the giveaway presented by the Burke Schuylkill Oil Association. Also make your way around the concourse, pick up those dollar deals on nachos, hot dogs, and popcorn. It's also tonight, country night, Undie Sunday. After the Royals score their first goal, I want to see who's got the best arm in this stadium and throw down your packaged and new underwear onto the ice. Let's now send it to a pregame interview with Kirk McDonald in our interview room. Uh, Coach, the flexibility you have in the rotation in your net minders, you have Ustamenko, Hayden Hawkey, and Kotze Kansanavi able to play well in net. What does that mean to the ability in the schedule down the stretch? We have back-to-back -back days and always a net minder on hand to play. Yeah, uh, Hawks has stepped up big for us. Obviously, he came in and uh, it's – um, he was sitting on the couch in October looking for a place to play and he came in and, and worked really hard and really didn't get much of an opportunity early and um, kind of stuck with it and now that you know Nags is going to the Olympics and then uh, Usti's kind of shuffling back and forth with the taxi squad with Philly um, he's uh, gotten a bit of a, more of an opportunity he's played really well and then Usti's you know gotten a lot more reps he's been great lately basically since going back early December he's been really good too so um, obviously helps being able to trust the guys you put in net and uh, like I said Hawks was great last night when he had the saves he had to make and uh, you know we're, we're looking forward to getting Usti back today. Superman was certainly on the ice last night in those specialty sweaters. Braden Lowe with a goal to put you ahead two to nothing. He also had multiple blocks and a clearing attempt down the stretch when it was six on four hockey. What has Braden Lowe's progression throughout the season and ability to lead this team meant for you down the stretch? Yeah, no, he's been good. And, like, um, you know, he scores a lot of goals. Like, he scores, like, five-on-five five goals, which is really important. Like, obviously, he doesn't play as much on the power play, but, like, um, to, the ability for him to go and he's, you know, he's got 10 goals in 30 games or 28 games with us and um, all even strength, I think, are shorthanded. And uh, that's big. Like, you need those guys. Like, you know, there's some guys that are going to score more on the power play like that's just how it is some guys are that's their strength and you know he's a big body um their line Cressy Kenny and him were awesome that goal last night was you know that was big time uh, execution uh by all three of them and uh yeah like I said the the penalty kill was really good last night Losey's been a big part of that and um he's, he's been doing a great job so it's credit to him and taking a leadership uh role seriously Frank DeChera joined the coaching staff yesterday as an assistant coach behind the bench. Do you think Frankie has a career made out for coaching after his playing days? Yeah, I know Frank did great. Uh, you know, sometimes the older guys will invite him on the bench. Uh, and I know he coached during the COVID year with uh, Mark Koo there, our old assistant, uh, who's coaching junior hockey. So uh, I know Frank, that's something Frank wants to do. So uh, it was an opportunity for him to take a look at the game from uh, another uh, angle. And, um, you know he'll probably be back there today and then obviously when he's healthy he'll be he'll be back as soon as possible but uh, it's a good opportunity for him to see the game in a different uh, perspective thank you coach right. those harry potter jerseys you see on the ice make sure to get in your game worn jersey auction submission by nine o'clock tonight to get one of those sharp maroon jerseys as well the superman jerseys from last night's game and the victory over the lions that auction giveaway ends monday at 9 o'clock. A lot of great jerseys and some good sweaters for your Royals. Get set for puck drop at 3 o'clock between the Royals and Lions here at Santander Arena. I'm Eric Jesperger with the Lions Roar. Go Royals!